Abnormal breathing. Accessory muscle breathing. Introduction. Normal inspiration involves only the diaphragm. Expiration is a passive process due to elastic recoil of the lungs. When inspiratory effort increases, it requires the use of the sternocleidomastoid, scalene, trapezius, internal intercostal and abdominal muscles. These are known as accessory muscles of breathing. Coming to the etiology. Any state resulting in an increased effort of breathing, such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, asthma, pneumonia, pneumothorax, pulmonary embolism, congestive heart failure, mechanism of accessory muscle breathing. In times of increased respiratory effort, the accessory muscles of breathing are set in use to exaggerate the normal respiratory process. The use of the accessory muscles can create more negative intrathoracic pressure on inspiration, pulling more air in and possibly causing tracheal tug, and more positive pressure on expiration, pushing air out. On inspiration, the scalene and sternocleidomastoid muscles help lift and expand the chest wall, allowing for a decrease in intrathoracic pressure and increased air entry. On expiration, the abdominal muscles help push air out of the lungs. Agonal respiration. Introduction. Slow inspirations with irregular pauses is called as agonal breathing. Patients are often described as gasping for air. Agonal breathing is usually closely followed by death unless intervention is provided. Agonal breathing isn't the same as a death rattle. This is a gurgling noise that some people make when they are dying. Death rattle is caused by saliva or mucus collecting in the throat or chest. Agonal breathing is instead an abnormal and often brief and inadequate pattern of breathing. Agonal breathing may sound like gasping but it can also sound like snorting and labored breathing. It may even seem as though the person is moaning. The abnormal breathing may last only a few breaths or could go on for hours. The cause of agonal breathing will affect how long it goes on and whether there are other symptoms. Etiology Any etiology leading to imminent death can cause agonal breathing. Cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest is the most common reason for agonal breathing. It is different from a heart attack, although they can be related. A heart attack happens when blood is blocked from reaching part of your heart by a clogged artery. The part of the heart that gets blood from the blocked artery starts to die. Cardiac arrest typically occurs without any warning. It is caused by an electrical problem in the heart, which disrupts its pumping rhythm. The heart is not able to pump blood to your organs, which will cause you to lose consciousness and die within minutes without treatment. Ischemic stroke. This type of stroke happens when an artery that carries blood to the brain is blocked. This is the most common type of stroke. About 87% of strokes are ischemic strokes. Mechanism of agonal breathing. Agonal breathing can be caused by anything that cuts off the blood supply to the brain. The brain gets oxygen from the cells in blood. Agonal respiration is thought to be a brainstem reflex, providing a last-ditch respiratory effort for the body to try to save itself. It is thought of as the last respiratory effort before terminal apnea. Agonal breaths are thought to originate from lower brainstem neurons as higher centers become increasingly hypoxic during cardiac arrest. Apneistic breathing. Introduction. 
characterized by prolonged periods of deep, gasping inspirations interrupted by occasional and insufficient expiration, brought on by elastic recoil of the lung. The apneistic center is located in the lower ponds. It acts to stimulate inspiration and it can cause deep, gasping inspirations with occasional expirations. Apneistic breathing involves repetitive gasps, with pauses at full inspiration lasting a few seconds. Mechanism of Apneistic Breathing The mechanism of apneusis is most likely related to brainstem and in particular pontine dysfunction. Apneistic breathing was believed to be caused by unopposed activity of the neurons in the lower ponds which facilitate inspiration. It is seen in patients with upper pontine lesions with bilateral vagotomy. However, more recent reports have shown that apneusis can be reproduced with mid-pontine lesions, ablation of the dorsal group of respiratory neurons, and achondroplasia affecting the distal medulla and upper cervical spinal cord, as well as in patients Apneustic breathing can be temporarily induced by ketamine. Asterixis Introduction When the patient is asked to hold their arms extended with wrists dorsiflexed, the hands move in a flap that is brief, rhythmless, and of low frequency, 3 to 5 hertz. Asterixis may be bilateral or unilateral. It is more simply described as a failure to hold a set pose owing to an interruption of muscle tone or posture. It is more easily understood when observed rather than described. Etiology More common causes are hypercapnia, for example, carbon dioxide retention in chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, liver disease, renal failure, alcoholism. Less common causes are central nervous system ischemia or hemorrhage, drug-induced, for example, clozapine, electrolyte abnormalities, for example, hypokalemia and hypomagnesemia, unilateral asterixis, thalamic stroke, ataxic or biots breathing. Introduction Ataxic or biots breathing is an abnormal pattern of breathing characterized by complete irregularity of breathing, with irregular pauses and increasing periods of apnea. As the breathing pattern deteriorates, it merges with agonal respirations. Etiology Most common cause is stroke. Less common causes are some neurodegenerative disorders, for example, shy dragger syndrome, meningitis, chronic opioid abuse, Fatal familial insomnia, which is rare. By its breathing is usually caused by damage to the medulla oblongata by stroke, CVA, or trauma, or pressure on the medulla due to uncal or tentorial herniation. By its breathing can also be caused by prolonged opioid abuse. Mechanism of by its breathing. The specific mechanism is not clear. As in many breathing abnormalities, it is thought to be caused by disruption of the normal respiratory systems of the brain stem, in particular medullary impairment. 